Welcome to day one of the Django 30 days course. The absolute beginner to pro joining you have been waiting for. We are not just going to learn Django. We are going to build a full production blog app together. No fluff, no boring theory. And we are going to do this together step by step building it up from day one to the 30th day the goal is to make you ready for any django developer role in a very easy way so by the end of today which is the first day you will have django installed and your project running and most importantly you will understand exactly what you are doing so let's get started this is gonna be fun all right before we touch code let me quickly explain this okay django is a powerful python framework that simply helps you build web apps quickly it undoes the boring stuff for you so things like database setup user login admin panel and more why you focus on building your application think of it like this instead of building a house from scratch django gives you the walls the roof and electricity you just design the rooms okay and you know what big companies like instagram interest mozilla all use django yeah you are in a good company okay now before we look at the django documentation itself let's get you set up so first in order to follow up with this project you need to have python installed okay because django remember it's a python framework so it basically runs on Python. So let's actually get you set up. First, if you're on window, you can open your command prompts. And if you're on Mac, you can simply open your terminal, okay? So here on our terminal, the first thing we want to check is to see if Python is actually installed in our PC. So simply type Python dash dash version, hit enter. Great. So if you see something like this, okay, Python and a number, you are good to go. If not, simply come to your browser. So here on your browser, just type Python. Open this first option, okay? Click on download. And here, if you are using Windows or Linux, Mac OS, you will see an option here to download Python. So simply download and install the latest version of Python. Now, during installation, if you're on Windows, make sure to check the box that says add Python to path. That is very important. And once you are done installing Python, come back to your terminal or your command prompt and simply type Python dash dash version to confirm that you already have Python installed. Great. Now that we have all installed Python into our local machine, the next thing we are going to do is to actually create a folder for this particular course. So I will navigate to my desktop by typing CD desktop, hit enter. Here on my desktop, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this Django app. Okay, hit enter. Now let's move to this Django app. So you type CD Django app, hit enter, and let's open this in our code editor. For the purpose of this course, I'm going to be making use of Visual Studio Code. Feel free to use any code editor of your choice, but I will recommend you to actually use VS Code so that we are on the same page in this course. So if you don't have VS Code installed on your PC, kindly go to your web browser. Here, just type VS Code. Open this first option okay, and you will see this download option. So here you will also have option for Windows or Linux. Simply download and install VS Code into your PC. Okay, great. Now that we are in this particular Django app, the next thing I want to do is to now open this directory in my code editor. There are many ways to do that. First, you can simply open your code editor. So the VS code on our VS code, you can actually click on this file. Okay. And here you will see this open folder. You can click on open folder and here you can select the folder where you created your Django app. The next way you can do this, once you cd into that particular folder, use code dots and that will open that folder straight in your code 
editor so now i am here the next thing i'm going to do is to open the terminal here on my code editor and to open the terminal you can either click on this terminal and click on new okay or on mac you can simply use command j and on windows i think that should be control j okay, so now we have this let's actually bring this up a little bit okay great now from this day one we'll actually start learning clean code and also how to keep our projects clean so we are going to create a virtual environment a virtual environment is just like a box where django and all our libraries will live okay so we separate them from other projects in order to create this virtual environment all we simply need to do is to type python remember we already have python installed on our machine so we can use python then dash m okay virtual environment and now we need to specify the name of this virtual environment so if you say virtual env and you hit enter so here you see this virtual env so this can be called anything you can call this even venv you can call it env you can call it anything you want but it creates this particular folder in our project directory okay and if you open this here we have our bin we have this include we have the lib for now don't stress yourself about this but the next thing we want to do is to actually activate this virtual environment because if you look at this place now you see this base right we are not in this virtual environment it's like moving to that virtual environment we want to use it so in order to use it we have to activate it and to activate it on mac simply type source then this particular folder name so in our case it is virtual env okay if you name this env simply type env here if you named it venv type venv but in my case i named it virtual virtual env okay so virtual env slash bin remember when i open this you see this bin and if you open this bin you will see another so that is exactly what i'm going to use now so slash bin slash activate so this command here is for mac users simply click on enter once you click on enter do you see it changes from base to virtual env i hope this is clear enough but if you're on windows type virtual env okay then backslash on windows you have to use backslash so backslash scripts then backslash activate okay so on windows you use this remember this here is going to be venv if you named this venv okay great so seeing this virtual env here in our terminal means that the virtual environment is actually active now that our virtual environment is active it is time to now install django okay so we have to install django okay and to install django we simply use pip install django and the pip we use here is the standard package manager for python okay so remember if this is a node.js project we'll be using npm install or pnpm install or others but in this case we are using pip install django hit enter and this will install django for us great now we have django installed let's actually clear this terminal and the next thing we want to check now is to actually see if django is installed so we can say django admin dash dash version hit enter and now you see this number this simply means that django is correctly installed okay so we are ready to build with django the next thing we want to do is to actually start our project and that is our blog application so let's create our django project and to create a django project this is very easy so we simply say django admin okay start project so we tell the django admin to start a django project and next we need to specify the name of that project so let's call this blog project and hit enter great so now we have this new folder before we actually look at this folder let's now navigate from the django app to our blog project and to do that we simply say cd blog project hit enter now we are inside our blog 
project. So inside this particular folder, this is the folder we are. To, to confirm this, you can type ls and on Windows, I think that should be dir. So on Mac, if you type ls, you now see this blog project, which is this particular subfolder and this manage.py file, which is actually a very important file here. Okay. So we are currently here. And since we are here, we can now run our project. We want to see what we have. And to run this particular block project, we simply say Python manage.py. Okay, manage.py. We are using this file now. Python manage.py run server. Hit enter. Okay, and now you see Django version 5.2 using settings, block project.settings starting development server at this so you can either copy this and paste in your web browser or press down the command and you click okay so here is our django project congratulations and wait if you are not part of this community please simply subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video in order to reach more django lovers now let me quickly explain what the files we have here actually do so we can close this using command j or control j okay so inside this particular folder we have this blog project and this is our core setting folder that is our core folder let's open this particular folder and look at the core ones for now later we are going to understand everything in details okay so the settings.py is actually our configuration so in this settings.py we have all our configuration and we will see this in details later. Now, the URLs undo the URL routing. Okay. This here is majorly for routing. Then we have this ASGI.py, which is server stuff. Actually, we'll look at this later. This ASGI.py or WSGI.py. Okay, but the main one I want us to pay attention to is not even inside this folder. It is this particular manage.py. This manage.py is very important. You will use this file. You will use this manage.py to run your server, to make migration, to create application, to do many things. So we will explore each file gradually. So you don't have to worry about anything here. Please, this first day is just for introduction and basic setup. So pause this video, go to the Django documentation and learn more about Django. By the end of this series, I wish you will get a very good job as a Django developer. So let's build great foundation and great knowledge and how things work together step by step. That's it for day one. We have installed Python. We set up a virtual environment environment we installed django in our local machine created our project and we've seen it running in the web browser thank you for being part of today's django beginner to pro tomorrow we will dive into creating our first application and it's gonna be the beginning of our blog system don't forget to like this video comment below if you got the it worked page that is if everything worked successfully for you subscribe so you don't miss the next video this is your time to become a django pro thank you and one love